Who were the Celtic tribes of ancient Italy? When you think of Italy, you would be forgiven for immediately thinking of the Roman Empire and Latin culture in general. In fact, arguably the most famous Roman, Julius Caesar, completely wiped out the home of Celtic civilization in the ancient world, Gaul. But Celts have played an epic part in the history of Italy. This is Cisalpine Gaul, an area around the Alps in the north of modern Italy. Cisalpine means on this side of the Alps, from the perspective of the Romans, as opposed to Transalpine Gaul, meaning on the far side of the Alps. Cisalpine Gaul was an area that was inhabited by Celtic tribes, particularly in the 4th and the 3rd centuries BC, who were originally, in most part at least, from Gaul, the home of Celtic civilization that was centred in modern France. But how did Cisalpine Gaul form? Well, it formed over centuries. In fact, one of the oldest Celtic languages that still left us inscriptions to this day is the Lepontic language, a language that was spoken in northern Italy and Switzerland, these ancient places, from around 550 BC until around 100 BC. It was spoken by an ancient Celtic people known as the Laponti, who lived around the Alps. They seem to be one of the earliest Celtic peoples to settle in this area. Another ancient Celtic people to settle in this area early on were known as the Insubres, an ancient Celtic population who settled in what is now the Italian region of Lombardy. They were the founders of the ancient city of Mediolanum, modern day Milan. Other Celts would soon follow, however. Now, if you would like to support my work so I can make better videos, please check out my links in the video description below to my merch store where you can pick up t-shirts, mugs, jumpers um, and other products and also to my Patreon page. There is also an option to buy me a coffee. Thank you and now on with the video. Various Celtic tribes migrated from Gaul and across the Alps to settle in the north of Italy near the Po River in around 400 BC. The Lingones were one of those people, known as an agricultural people that were skilled in metalworking and in weaving. Other tribes that came over in this wave of Celtic migration from Gaul over the Alps to settle in what became known as Cisalpine Gaul included the Senomani, the Boy, and the Senonese. As well as settling in Cisalpine Gaul, the Boy had a presence in various other parts of Europe. The Senonese had led Celtic tribes in the sack of Rome around 390 BC under the lead of Brennus, but they soon fell back north to the northeast of modern Italy. They ousted the Italic people known as the Umbrians in the process. This concentration of Celtic tribes in the north of Italy meant that this whole region became known as Cisalpine Gaul, or Celts on this side of the Alps. Between 224 and 220 BC, the Roman Republic conquered this area, and the territory was geographically considered part of Roman Italy, although administratively it was considered separate. When Hannibal invaded Rome in 218 BC, many Celts rebelled and joined his force, and Rome lost control of Cisalpine Gaul. They soon recovered this territory, however, in the subsequent decades. When Rome finally conquered the Celtic and Subres and Boy tribes between 198 and 191 BC. By around 81 BC, Cisalpine Gaul was considered a Roman province. Then in 49 BC, all inhabitants of Cisalpine Gaul received Roman citizenship. And then in 42 BC, Cisalpine Gaul became part of Roman Italy proper. Despite going on to be part of Roman Italy, the Celtic history of this region, the epic Celtic history of this region, speaks to the history of the Celts in so many parts of Europe. But what does Celtic even mean? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell. For ways to support, they will be in the description below. Please also tell your friends and family about this channel and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.